Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get version history for a SharePoint list item whenever there is any column modified inside that particular item. As you can see in my email notification here, I have a name column which is actually capturing name of my list item column, their previous value versus their current value. This is exactly what I need whenever there is any item modified inside a SharePoint list. I need to get the column name which has been modified inside that particular item or a row. You can see that. So let's just talk about how we can achieve this. I'll go in my power automate, try to create an automated cloud flow. I will name this as a version history and trigger will be when an item or file is modified. I will select my site address that is LTIT library name is issue tracker. Next step will be I'll select a SharePoint connector and uh, get changes for an item or file property, select my site address, select my list name, item ID, and there is a, a mandatory field which is since. So I will say trigger window start token. What does this uh, particular action do? It give us the all column name with their true false value whether their value has been changed or not and this uh, trigger window start token is basically give us the previous version and this until will give us the current version of that particular item i will just save this and we will test it uh, that what it returns in output for that i will uh, change something inside any of my list item new test case where maybe test data priority i will something change maybe i will change the date as well and save this and now we'll wait our flow to run once our uh, flow runs successfully we'll go inside uh, the flow and the get changes for an item show raw output I'll leave the header if we go inside the body you will see there is a one property column has changed all the column name with their value like false and true so now what we need is we need this column has changed property out of this particular output of get changes for an item by which we will get the exact true false value inside a object. The next action will be select data operation and from and look for has column changed. I'll just copy this in my notepad. I have written some expression already. I'll let you know what it is exactly. But uh, first see this. The output get changes from an item or file property inside the body we are looking for column has changed specifically and as you can see I've already mentioned this here and I am converting that into a string and then replacing the opening curly braces with blank again replacing the closing curly braces with blank and then splitting that entire string into array objects with this comma. So this is the expression I need into my select and write this. That's all. And in the map, I want to get the name and value property from this particular has column changed output. So for that, what expression I will write is again, I have written item. I'm splitting the item with 
this uh, colon and getting the zero indexed of uh, that particular item and then replacing the double quotes with blank so that we don't have unnecessary double quotes for any of the item. I will go here and uh, paste this and in the value I will go again paste the expression and what I need to change is from the zero index I need first index this time because I want to get the value out of that. Once this is done click save we'll test our flow now you will see that we have the output into the array structured with name and value pair and all the value like true or false structured like an array now from this array what i need is i will filter this array from the output of the select and uh, I will say item item value is equal to in the expression inside a single quote just type true and uh, test this. So as you see in the output of select we have all the values true and false but if we go inside the filter array output you will see all the values now we have with only value true that's what we needed we want to filter out only those columns which value true that means the column that has been changed and out of this filter array now i will write again a select action and from the output of this filter array in the uh, map what I will do is I will write an expression item I need only the name from the filter array so we have name and value pair there I only need name of the column go here test this out you will see the output like this the body we have all the name inside the array object so now we have all the names of column which has been modified now what we need is we need to get their previous value versus the current value so for that i will write a send http request to sharepoint I will select site address method will be get the URI will be an API call which I have already written here so you can see you can build your uh, URI it's just pretty much simple API list get by title inside a single code I have written my list name which is issue tracker and then slash items slash versions and in the items I'm going to provide a dynamic ID and in the version itself if we go here and if I look for since version number I will copy this first paste it here just remove this unnecessary brackets and you see there is label I have to remove the label and put ID instead here copy this now paste it here we have the versions available here and now what we need to write is a select statement here dollar select equal to what I'm going to write is a join and inside the join what I'm going to join is the output of select 2 which is the column names so this and uh, then comma inside a single quote join by comma 
Okay. Save this. It will return us the previous value of all these columns, which is part of the select. That means only the columns which has been modified. We'll just uh, quickly test this as well. It is successful and uh, you can see into the output. I'm getting uh, the title modified description, all the columns and their previous value. So likewise, this what I need now is I need to copy this particular action and go to my clipboard. Again, the another send HTTP request to SharePoint, which will give us the current value of that particular item. Let me just save this first. Okay, as you can see, uh, in the since version ID, I need to change this because what I need is the current version ID, which I will get from the until version number. So there was since version number and this is until version number. So what I have to do again, change the label to ID, control X, paste it here inside the versions. Now I have until version ID here and the select statement will be same. Once we have this, what we're going to do now is, so what we have to do now is again, we have to write a select statement for that. I will copy this select statement, which I've already created and will uh, tweak this little bit. Select and let me just uh, showcase you this that here we had uh, get changes for an item or file property only. And in this case, what we need is we need send HTTP request here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write body of send HTTP request. First, I will get the previous version ID. I will put it here. As you can see, copy this. Okay. This is fine now and same thing uh, replacing, converting that into string, replacing the curly braces, splitting with comma, go into the expression, just delete this. Okay. We are good here. And uh, from the replace function, we need this exactly the same way. Maybe I will change. I will say title here and uh, expression will be same. I need the zero index and then I need uh, the uh, previous value. I will select the first index out of this and in the current value, what I'm going to do first is get the output of the send HTTP request SharePoint 2 and control X and we will uh, build something here. I will say JSON and uh, inside the JSON, I will say item. Okay. So what this will do basically the output of this uh, send HTTP request to SharePoint inside the body, select the JSONs and get the current item. I will uh, paste this here and now we will save our flow. 
saved successfully we'll uh, test this so the flow is successful but if we go to the sewer or output the value in current value is null so the only region which i can see is i have not written the except and i will say expression no i will just simply say application slash json so o data no metadata same thing here except same things because i don't need metadata and the value i was needed in a json format let's see now if we go to the show raw output now you see that we have current value versus the previous value here as you see, I have written a JSON item here. So it was not giving us the value, giving the blank value because it didn't understand the structure properly. So what I will do next is convert this select into a HTML table, create HTML table, output of the select three and i will keep the column as automatic and next statement will be send send email as you see here i'm going to send this to myself and item id directly and i will just type say hi you can type any message previous values okay and now in the dynamic content what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the output of html table here and if i go into the edit source this is how it's look like and what i will do is i have written a style sheet here you can get this uh, from internet if you need just a basic styling to you know change the styling of my table put this inside and save your flow now let me test my full-fledged flow to see that how does this work flow ran successfully okay let's send an email we'll go to our outlook and we receive a new email and now you can see hi there is an change in items with the current versus previous value you will see all the columns name that has been modified their previous value versus their current value so this way you can get what are the column that has been modified inside your SharePoint list item and get their previous value versus their current value so I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. I will put all the expressions which are mandatory in my pinned comment or either into description. Thank you so much for watching.